I am extremely pleased to have acquired this engine. Now this was an eBay auction win and these do not come up on eBay very often. I've seen about two, I think, in the entire time that I've been looking for model steam engines on eBay. So what is it? This is a Jowett poppet valve model steam engine. Now these were made from a casting kit that was produced by a company called Chelston Model Engineering and they were based in Devon and they were making these kits in the mid 1980s. Now the, the seller was very kind enough to include with the engine some photocopies of the drawings and parts lists for this engine. Basically, as I said, it was a casting kit produced by this company, uh, Chelston Model Engineering, which is what the CME cast into the cylinder uh, end cap stands for. Now, according to the information I've got, it has a bore of three quarters of an inch and a stroke of three quarters of an inch and two three inch flywheels. And it's a lovely, lovely looking model, but it's interesting because it uses these poppet valves, which as you can see, I'll stop the, uh, stop the motor and we'll come in a bit closer. Now I've brought you in close and I've tipped the engine up a bit. So you can see it's got these two cams, one either side of the main crank there. And as you rotate them, they move these two poppet valves in and out. Now they don't move very much. As you can see. But apparently it produces a very smooth, very quiet running engine. Which we will have to see. But as I said, I was very, very lucky to get this. So yeah, and there's not really anything I have to do to this as far as I can tell. I mean, it all is all nice and clean. There's a bit of end float on the crankshaft. I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be there, but um, I'm gonna leave it for now. And yeah, I think that uh, we really, I mean, the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna try running it on compressed air. I'm not sure. One of my larger boilers might produce enough steam for it. I would imagine it does require quite a bit of steam. Uh, so it's, a, it's, a, it's fairly, you know, compared to my other model steam engines, three quarter inch bore and stroke, that's quite large. So, but yes, it's a, it's a really nice looking and uh, unusual engine. Well, it doesn't actually look any different. But I have done a considerable amount of work on the little Jowett poppet valve motor that's come in closer to the uh, valve assembly there. Now, as I said previously, the inlet valve, which is this one here, that was sticking quite badly. So basically I lifted the whole crankshaft flywheel assembly out, pulled that away so that I could disassemble these the, these two valve rods and it was it was it was sticking quite badly and and the exhaust valve which is the one on this side this was also it was quite rough in in its in sliding in and out of the port so basically fortunately i had a reamer the right size so i've reamed the valve rod holes out now and these now move um much much more easily i mean the spring is quite tight but they but they do move well, I can move it with my fingers like this. No. Anyway, they do move. So basically, it, it, it isn't. It, the valves are now operating correctly. And also, I, I wasn't really sure about the valve timing. So I've kind of like um, it's fairly easy. You can guess where where they have to open. But and they don't. They don't. They really do not move very much at all. They just move a fraction, and that's enough to allow the air in and out on the other side. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically, you need to have a clearance between the end of the valve. Uh, uh, follower rod here and the eccentric or cam when these are supposed to be closed because the springs hold the valves closed they they're basically like miniature car engine valves exactly the same principle with a with a, a valve type seat and a, the spring holds it closed they weren't closing properly either so i took the whole things apart and i used some 400 grade wet and dry on the actual uh, the valve caps themselves to just to, to, to smooth them out and now they do seem to close quite well so i'm uh, you know hopeful that uh, uh, th that was okay um that was really all i had to do let's come out a bit
Oh, well, I had to make up a little adapter to go in this inlet port here so that I could connect my airline to it. But uh, I think we're about there. Now I don't have a boiler, unfortunately, which is suitable for this. So um, I'm using my, I'm using my trusty KJ Miller air compressor, which I have to say is been absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad I got this. Uh, and that's thanks to all the guys on the office of Steam Forum. I'm so glad I got this and managed to get that working because it is really, that's my go-to compressor now for running model engines. It's just fantastic. So, so let's get this thing running. The only thing is, it is a, the compressor is a little bit on the loud side. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, we'll get it running. Here we go. This your arms a real treat. There is a little bit of wobble on the flywheel, and you can see that by the fact that the engine is shaking. I'm not quite sure what is causing that, whether it's crankshaft or flywheel run out, but it does shake around a little bit, as you can see. But it runs fine. What I'll do is I'll change the camera angle and we'll close in on the on the valve operation. Okay, we've closed in on the valves and I'll, I'll get it going again. You can see the, the operation. Should see them in operation, I should say. All right. Hopefully in the future I can revisit the Jowett uh, and running on steam. That's what my plan is. But um, I really do need to see if I can splash out and get myself a nice uh, Stuart boiler. That would be ideal for something like this. But for now, at least it runs. Okay, so that's it for the Jowett, the little Jowett engine. I'm really pleased to get it running. And uh, so there's still a few little things that need sorting out. There's obviously some uh, vibration being caused by the flywheels or the crankshaft there, which I need to sort out, but at least it's running. So that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.